In a dramatic turn of events at a recent Women in Leadership conference, Dr. Ngozi okonjo awela the Director General of the World Trade Organization and a proud Nigerian, publicly challenged Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, over her claim of being 43% Nigerian. The confrontation, which was captured on video and quickly went viral, has sparked a global debate about identity, heritage, and the responsibility of public figures in an era of accessible genetic testing. But before we spill all the tea, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to keep up with all the antics the Sussexes may be up to. Markle, who was delivering a speech on the importance of inclusivity and diversity, revealed that a recent DNA test had revealed her Nigerian ancestry a discovery she had embraced with pride. However, Okonjo Awela, a highly respected economist and diplomat, was visibly skeptical. In a bold move that surprised many, she took the microphone from Markle and questioned the legitimacy of her claim, demanding an explanation for such a bold statement in front of a stunned audience. Markle, though momentarily taken aback, calmly explained that her claim was based on the results of a genealogical DNA test. This explanation did little to appease Okonjo Awela, who remained unconvinced, sparking a heated exchange that laid bare the complexities of identity in the 21st century. The incident quickly escalated, with both women passionately defending their positions, turning the conference into a stage for a broader societal debate. The confrontation has divided public opinion and ignited a global conversation on the nuances of heritage and cultural identity. Some have defended Markle's right to embrace her newfound heritage, emphasizing the importance of self-discovery and celebrating one's ancestry. They argue that genetic testing offers a valuable tool for understanding one's roots and connecting with previously unknown aspects of one's identity. Others, echoing Okonjo Awela's skepticism, have questioned the authenticity of Markle's claims, raising concerns about the potential for cultural appropriation and the oversimplification of complex historical and social contexts. They argue that claiming a specific heritage based solely on DNA results overlooks the lived experiences, traditions, and cultural nuances that shape a person's identity. Okonjo Awela, in subsequent interviews, emphasized the importance of approaching the concept of heritage with nuance and respect. She acknowledged the significance of genetic testing but stressed that it should not be the sole basis for claiming a particular identity. She called for a more holistic understanding of heritage, one that encompasses not only genetic lineage but also cultural immersion, historical knowledge, and lived experiences. Markle, for her part, reiterated her belief in the power of embracing diverse cultural backgrounds and celebrating shared connections. She acknowledged the complexities of identity and the importance of respectful dialogue, recognizing that the conversation about heritage is an ongoing one, fraught with both opportunities for connection and potential pitfalls. The incident serves as a powerful reminder that discussions surrounding heritage, identity, and cultural appropriation are far from settled. It highlights the need for open dialogue, empathy, and a willingness to engage with different perspectives. In an increasingly interconnected world, where genetic testing is becoming more accessible and cultural boundaries are becoming more fluid, it is imperative that we navigate these conversations with sensitivity and respect, acknowledging the multifaceted nature of identity and the importance of fostering understanding across diverse communities.